guys, but I have chills tonight. I've been waiting for this moment. All right, welcome everyone to Impact Wrestling here in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Finally, things are going to get settled. My goosebumps have goosebumps, and if yours don't, you better check your pulse. I look at this card and my mouth starts to water. This is all the makings of a legendary night. All right, so in case you forgot the card, Santino and Ortiz LAX versus OVE, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe, then tag team action, Brittany and Crystal Dallas versus Victoria and Eva Reese, and then Rosemary taking on Santana Garrett in the main event. So here we go with the new Impact Wrestling Arena, which I mean it, it kind of looks like the new one. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But, no such luck. The current Impact Wrestling Tag Champions. OVE has ever held the tag titles in my universe mode. Well, I'm not going to lie. These two make an awesome tag team. I cannot wait for yeah, this well, match. Yeah, well, both of them do. Like, both teams. Both legal men are in the ring. And set to start things off here. We're ready Jake to go. Chris just if you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. Team These team guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. He's looking at it. Yeah, submission hold here. Is he done? Santana Nicely easily getting done. out of it. As he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. The champion's not looking good in this match. Chris able to get the rope break. Ortiz tagged in. Oh, damage to the body. What a stop. Good grief. Bang! Now 
now tag made to Jake Chris. The team of OVE working very well together. Reversal by Ortiz. Now Santana oh, and that in the worst way, Michael. He looks a bit off his game here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's oh. exactly what he's getting. It's no secret the that the dog by Jake leads Chris. success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken Oof. too much offense up to this point. And elbow drop. Can obviously all change here. I don't think he should get up. Ooh. <laughs> He's back sort of the here. Canadian destroyer sort of finisher. He has him right where he wants him. Now Jake Chris for a tombstone uh, pile driver. I'm not sure how much he has left. And for the pen. He's on the rope. On the the rope right. Stops the count. Going for a pen yet again. We've got a cover. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Bulldog! He's starting to stagger a bit. He looks to be a little surprised right and now. Again? He's got to tag or the pin. That time taken up the win. An impressive tag team victory. So it looks like outbound for glory it will be L LAX defending against OPE Here for the tag titles. Jake. A very decisive victory here tonight. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're right. looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future. All right, so now moving on to Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. So yeah, I kind of want to explain something. Uh, the reason why, like, Seth Rollins is in Impact Wrestling on this ro roster, I kind of was going for, like, a, uh, whoever was actually in, in, in Impact Wrestling at one time. I put on this roster. Obviously, I couldn't have, like, everyone, but... This yeah, Seth Rollins was in fact in Impact Wrestling at one time, back when he was called Tyler Black. I think he was only used for like one match, like one or two matches, and he was like an absolute jobber. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. All right, we can skip this. Crap, I forgot to change Samoa Joe's theme. Oh, I will definitely have to do that. And his opponent, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 200. 82 pounds, Samoa Joe! One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes. Entertainment ever encountered. 
Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. So here we go. If you've studied Samoa Joe, you know he believes we are defined by two things. The choices that we make and the actions we put behind them. With that in mind, the WWE oh, really Universe turn had questions about his temporary off. allegiance with Triple H. The choice to align with Triple H and the action of taking out Seth Rollins only had to make sense to Joe. Samoa Joe doesn't answer questions. Samoa Joe only makes statements. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. We mentioned how Samoa Joe acted as an assassin for the King of Kings. Joe may have not answered to the WWE Universe for his crimes, but Seth Rollins will never allow Joe to live it down. An attack like that is not something you can ever forget. I will see Seth always harboring a hatred for Samoa Joe, a disdain that will lead to many altercations between the two for years to come. Drop kick. Right on the money. <laughs> the suplex. Oh, man. What a shining wizard. What a stop. Good grief. Seth Rollins now, is the Samoa there. Joe. But he's very aware of who Big he's in there with bomb. and what he has to do to rebound. It looks like again with the power bomb. Thunderous slam. And for the pen now. Looking for all the glory here. And it's only a one table to get out. More than that. Oh, look at this. Oh, kick. I actually don't know what rank Seth Rollins was. But it looks like pure domination by Samoa Joe in this match. Oh, nasty impact. He's making a statement here with this attack. Tag made here. Uh-oh, this is... This might be it! Oh, my! He might have it. You're a Nagi! Man, oh, man. Nice. Shut it. Penny predicament. And Samoa Joe was the, the win. And this one's history. What a Samoa win. Joe was the number one contender, so it looks like Omago versus Samoa Joe. That should be a good match for victory. Uh, Bound for Glory. Yeah, big win for that young and man. yeah, Samoa Joe not done Wait here. We all know where down. this is headed. He's oh, thinking he's not I finished. Know. He wants to stop a hole in him. Corey, this match is over. All right, so now moving on to our uh, tag team women's match, Brittany and Crystal Dallas versus Ivelisse and Victoria. Honestly, I don't think Crystal Dallas would actually cash in her money in the bank briefcase on her best friend Brittany, but we'll see you at Bound for Glory. We have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event.
Victoria. I actually don't think I used Victoria before. From Los Angeles, California, Victoria. Which I know she was called Terra and TNA for Impact Wrestling. But Guys, whatever. what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Now, Ivelisse. And her partner, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, E. V. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. So Brittany starting things off with Victoria. Big time tag team match okay. underway here. Tag made to Crystal Dallas already. And a big slap right to the face. You've got to believe this one's over. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members. Look out! There's the tag, and that changes now the entire tag back in. These women, Michael. Destroyed. She goes for the cover and a kick out. Still seems a little early. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match. Submission time. She better do something fast. Brittany able to escape that. I can't believe she broke out of that. Over the top rope. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard going for the big one. Now armbar submission. She's starting to fight out, guys. Oh, and she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. High cross body. She's absorbing some offense here. Heard her partner make it a great tag. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have so, to the referee's of course, that bound for glory. The move. We will Keep have a on this one. another match fall above versus Shawn Michaels Look out. for the 24-7 oh, championship. Of course, fall above believing he was wrongfully robbed of that championship. Boss man slam. 
Can't waste any time here. That'll readjust your spine. Now, you finish it. Big slam. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Push the Dallas in for the pen. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. And Brittany just kind of hit Crystal Dallas. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. And Crystal Dallas just knocked Brittany off the apron. I believe Crystal thinks she can do this on her own. She's looking at it. There is the widow's peak, I believe that's, that's called. She, wrote. she goes for the cover. Two. There's not a person and able to kick out. Who thought that was wow. it for him. Not yet. Head scissors applied. Oh, oh, look at this. The moon salt. Oh, man, what a flash. That's it. That's what she needed. Look at this. One, two. Brittany able to break it up. Neva Lee's now with the DDT sort of right on to Crystal Dallas. Now. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. And now well, again with the winner's peak. believe this one's over. Now she goes for the cover. One, two, three. And Victoria with the pen on Crystal Dallas. Here are your winners, Victoria and E. V. You heard the ring announcer. Honestly, I think over. it was and Crystal Dallas winner. thinking that, that she could get all night long, win this I by herself. That the the card I mean. The team and I can imagine lose. there aren't too many people at home are ready to tune in for that amazing match. Anyway, wow. next up, the main event, Rosemary versus Santana Garrett. ready for singles out. Oh man, still not officially underway. And Rosemary realizing it. Nice calf kick, great elevation. I'm probably going to have to change Rosemary's entrance a little. Because that didn't look like her entrance nice at all. Buster. to me like this entire arena is on its feet and understandably so. I really like this uh, Rosemary model. That really looks well done. Beautiful nice, technique. Nice hurricane rana there. Or Head scissors take down. I don't know. I don't know wrestling moves. Face buster! Man, that was vicious. She's starting to feel it. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. 
and this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Ooh. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Boom! Right to the jaw! Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. She's licking her chops. She better not rise in the bait. You can see the confidence just uh, beaming from her right now. Shining wizard, I believe that's called. Specifically targeting the leg. She's got her where she wants her. Now Rosemary. A wise woman would stay down. Slam down. Belly to belly suplex. That's what makes her so dangerous. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Or a pump handle. Now pump, pump handle, handle suplex. suplex. That should do it. One for the pen now. She goes for the cover. And Rosemary getting the win. Takes it. That was pretty easy match for her. Here is your winner, the Queen. And the first match of the Rosemary night comes Mary proving why in she's the number fashion. one contender. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. All right, so... All right. So that is it for Impact Wrestling. Let's go ahead and see the rankings. Um, all right, so it looks like three poten potential rival rivalries. I can't even say that word. Yes. Um, let's see, where do I go to? Uh, edit divisions. Smoke Jail went up. Actually, he stayed at number one contender. Seth Rollins went down. Sammy Callahan up. That makes sense. So, at Bound for Glory, it will be Samoa Joe versus El Mago. Um, X Division wasn't really featured, so TJP versus Aerostar for the X Division Championship. Um, of course, we'll have Fala Ball versus Shawn Michaels for the 24-7 championship. Um, also, a probably like a 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal, which is which they had at this year's Bound for Glory. It was like a call-your-shot gauntlet sort of uh, match where you can basically choose whatever... Uh, championship you want to go for so we'll have that um, OBE actually beat the champions so they should be number one contenders uh, yeah that makes sense and then of course I'm gonna have Crystal Dallas at ringside for Brittany So she can possibly cash in by herself, or I'll have to do that through a cutscene. And then, of course, other we just have all of these people. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Bound for Glory. All right, so getting our preview for BCW this Friday. Uh, I actually have it on Thursday, but whatever. So looks like Edge versus Heath Slater with Rhino in his corner. That should be cool. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Arya Davari. Okay. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa versus Kofi Kingston. 
Let's see, Kofi Kingston's the BCW champion, so... Yeah, I'll let that... Wait, that's the... That's the main event? Alright, and then... Tony Storm... Calling out someone. Okay. So, yeah, that's... Preview for BCW... On Friday, so of course I hope, of course I hope you enjoyed Impact Wrestling, and I will see you Friday for BCW.